I will start with status view. So let's open groups. First one is view model and also components. And also open new CFTY view inside status group. So name it status view. Okay, so first and first, we should have a view model to display our status. Okay, so open new Swift file inside view model and name it status manager. Open new struct for our status model, name it status and make it identifiable. So here we have five different objects. First one is ID and make it UUID and also write let username make it string time ago to display how much time ago the user shared this status and we have status image also make it string and last one a variable for boolean is viewed or not and by default make it false okay great so let's write some status list open a class name it status manager and make it observable object and again open new variable with published variable and name it var status list and with status model with array because we will make it a list and equal to our status list so i will drag my status list from my other project if you see, I have four different users with status and I have username, how much time ago and status image and also the boolean is viewed. So add your status list like this and if you want to copy paste from my project, go to my GitHub repository, you can access my codes for free. Okay, so if you see there is status image, right? Four different image. So open assets here, right click on assets and select new folder, right status. I also drag my four different status images and drag into status. Okay, so and also don't forget it should be same name with here status image, status 1, status 2, stat 3, status 4 and also it should be same image name or file name okay so now let's move to status view so here let's call our status manager with observed object variable so write observed object var status manager equal to status manager class and just for now i will list my status list and later we will make components to display better on ui so open new navigation view and open list, write status manager dot status list and here write status in and display just status username to just see the user list. Okay, we can see our list, but we should make better UI, right? So go to component and open status card and go to CFTY view write status card view uh, sorry not card it should be card and open new file okay so let's call our status and write let status status model and here we should call our status model here to display the card and write one of your status like this or also you can do status manager dot status list an array call zero all right so go to inside body and open new h stack and also again open new z stack or z stack and let's display our image so first one let's display a system name 
circle and make it resizable and add some frame for example let's make width 62 and height 62 also and make content mode is dot fill so in foreground color we should make if status viewed we will make it for false let's make it blue but if it's viewed let's display green uh, with opacity 0 0.3 and make it font width dot medium and because we opened an z stack we will display our image inside this circle so again open image write status dot status image okay we can see our image but we should make it better with adding this code lines resizable and some frames also aspect ratio content mode fill as we did in circle and clip shape circle and also we will add some overlay and add some offset to display correctly okay so we see our image and under this z stack open v stack to display username and time ago inside this horizontal stack to display and horizontally but we opened new v stack to make vertical username and time ago so open two different text first one is status dot username and and status time ago write font dot headline this one and other one is font subheadline and foreground color gray and make it bold also you can add some alignment to v stack make it leading and add some spacing maybe five okay again in components open new swift ui view and write status least view write observed object var status manager equal to status manager okay here open new section and let's add some header write recent updates and inside this section we will display our status card so open list and write status manager and status list status in and let's display with our status card view so if you remember we had status and write status model equal to status but for now we can't see that's why we will add uh, inside status view and form but let's display with an v stack just for now so add a v stack to see the status okay great let's zoom in a little bit so it it looks great so delete this v stack we don't need it because we will list it inside our status view so delete this list and open form and this form that will be display our status list view and you can delete the status manager okay looks great and if you remember in our project i had my status also my status card so let's make this my status card so again open new file inside components and select swift ui view write my status card view also we will add this my status card inside an section and open new h stack and the z stack and display an image so go to your assets and add your profile image so i will drag my profile image with auth profile so go back to my status card and write your file name so again we should make it better with adding resizable scale to fit and some frames also clip shape circle so that's why i opened an z stack to this image i will add plus icon to my image so open new image again and write system name plus and add this code so first one is making bold and add some padding foreground color white and background blue also clip shape circle so it looks great but we should make it better to adding to trailing of this image 
So add some alignment to your Z stack. Right bottom trailing and delete this content. So now looks great, right? Under this Z stack, we should open new uh, V stack, vertical stack. And open new V stack alignment leading. So my status with headline font and the text add to my status text as you see in simulator or canvas and sub headline font and foreground color gray okay looks great so under this v stack add and spacer okay to adding new button here as in our finished project you see there is two icon so i will open and button uh, i just print and status card camera because we don't have any action for this tutorial and the label is an image with camera fill font body padding tan and background ultra thin material the last one is clip shape circle if you see displayed this image okay so uh, we have another button that one is last one so write action print again and for label write image pencil and add some phones with body same codes in camera so it looks better and now let's move to status view so add your my status card view to display in status view okay now looks better right okay and i prefer to display my ui with dark mode with replacing scheme to dark mode also you can do if you prefer to display it in dark mode okay great so the last one we should add for our status page is an info text information text this one and also this privacy on navigation bar so for this again we should open new components so write info text write info text view this part is so much easy it's not like others just open new edge stack with five spacing and your image with system name lock.fill to display this lock let's zoom in a little bit this one and your two different text and make it foreground blue and just make foreground color gray for other text like image and your status updates are text and make it font caption and add some frames okay great and let's display also in status view right info text view okay looks better uh, let's add some navigation title like status like this it looks better and if you remember we had a privacy button on leading to navigation bar so for this add new navigation bar item scroll down and you see there is navigation bar items leading so write a text called privacy okay so you can make foreground color blue to display as a button also you can add to inside button if you want okay so that was the status view we finished so also you can add some more features for your status view and in next part we will display this calls view with with all features